and hello everybody welcome back to another tutorial so um today i'm going to teach you a little about brain fuck now before we go on guys before we start this lesson i just want to say if this lesson didn't help you you couldn't quite understand it i did make a lesson which should be a bit easier to understand if you didn't understand this this one was made to made to make the other one look a little bit harder against this one but the other one does have a little bit more depth they, they, than this one so uh, if you don't understand feel free to click on the link in the description to go and what well, not watch it uh, just to go and just look at it um, it's pretty easy as well so uh, let's get started now if you're familiar with, familiar with programming at all you should probably know about um, arrays now if you don't here's a a very quick explanation it's not perfect but it's just very quick array is basically something that can hold a bunch of stuff in it like a bunch of numbers a bunch of words a bunch of letters you know just a bunch of things in it now brainfuck has arrays called cells now a cell is basically a number one cell represents one number or one thing in an array now I, now this is basic, a basic example of a cell, um, cells do not look like this, uh, they are actually all just zeros, this is an example for later on. Now remember that both cells and arrays have unlimited basically uh, spaces where you can put things in. For example arrays you can just add and add and add more numbers until you feel that's enough. It's the same with cells. Okay, now imagine you have a pointer. Now this pointer always and always will start at the first one. Now you want to move this pointer to the next cell. So you will use, I think this is called a, a bigger as sign, not completely sure, but you will use this. And it will basically move the cell to the next line. For example, here is in here's the code you'll basically use. You'll just use that, and the result from using this code will basically be this. Let's just uh, clean that up. I should have uh, thought about this one earlier. Okay, now as you can see, it moved the pointer to the next cell. This is extremely important, so you gotta get this one behind your head. Now let's just copy this and paste it. Now if you want to move it left, you basically just use the other sign. And it will move the pointer back. Like this. Okay, now let's take what we learned and just make a little small code with it that doesn't do anything just yet okay so let's move the pointer two cells to the right now basically let's just copy that to make it a little bit faster now basically the result would be something like this as you can see the pointer moved two um, steps to the right okay enough about cells that's about all you gotta know about that part and let's continue to adding and subtracting now I'm just going to add some random cells here of random numbers and they're very special or anything now let's just add a pointer whoops okay wait let's okay there we go now about adding and subtracting Adding and subtracting is extremely easy. Adding something uses a plus, subtracting something uses a minus. Now this is simple math and really easy to just grasp. Now let's make the third cell equal to something like 5. And now let's also make the fourth cell equal to 0 just so we can get both of them in first thing we want to do is we want to make the pointer move two steps to the left I mean to the right and uh, let's just copy that 
let's just make it easier and just put them all where it should be let's put it on our code and that one under result now that we have moved the two steps to the right it is at zero because so three is equal to zero thing we want to do is we want to add five plus signs to make cell zero equal to five then we want to make the pointer move one step to the right again this will put it at one then we just minus afterwards and it will change that one to a zero now the more you practice this the easier it will get and you'll start understanding it a lot more if you practice this so just practice this in your own free time maybe right now is a good time to just like add a bunch of things but way before you start practicing we still need to help you get an output now first thing you gotta know before you can get an output is about ASCII values now basically every letter every number basically everything you you know as that you can type as an ASCII value for example a is 97 space is if I'm correct 32 now it's not important that you know this because you can always go online or just download an app that can automatically convert these to, into ASCII values for you for example let's quickly go on Google and just Google ASCII value converter Now, as you can see, we have reached our destination. Now, you just enter whatever you need here and it will automatically give you the value. And you can just use that value to do whatever you want. Now, you can just go play around here and do whatever you like and stuff. So, yeah, just you can just figure out what words you want. Then you just enter the ASCII value into whichever cell you want it to be. Now let's get back to the loops. Now loops are extremely useful. So if you have if you do have experience of programming, this will be extremely easy. If you don't, I suggest you go learn at least one program la programming language before you learn brain fuck. Now loops are extremely important and useful when trying to get high numbers of that ASCII value one. let's say 97 for example now what you can do is you can just like let's say you want to make the, the second cell 97 now what you can do is you can send it to the second cell and just constantly add a bunch of plus signs 97 times now that could be excruciating when you need to like work with a big project and it just having to count all of that is just going to be a lot of effort that's where the loop comes in okay so now let's just get a bunch of cells in here so I can show you guys more of how it works make them all zero because you start with zero now loops are done with square brackets now let's say you still want to make the second cell 97 so then you make the first cell, let's say 10 for example, and you start the loop by putting in a square bracket. Now, inside of the loop, you will move the pointer to the next cell, and you will add, let's say, another 10 plus signs. Now, an easy way to work out how much you will get is by taking that first line and multiplying it by the first line within the loop now you make this pointer go back to the first cell and you minus one this will make sure each time the loop runs it pluses one for the second cell and minus is one I mean plus 10 for the second cell and minus is one for the first cell and as soon as the first cell reaches zero the second cell will reach 100 because it's 10 times 10 but the problem is we still don't have 97 so then we move it back 
to a second cell because it ended at the first cell because of that last thing in the loop. Now we move back to a second cell and we minus 3, making it 97. Now you might be thinking, what's the use of all of this if you can't have an output? Well, you can. We shall be getting to that right now. Now to get an output, all you need to do is you have to add a dot or a point at the end of wherever you want the output. So we're going to put it at the very last line because we want the output to be an A. Okay, now we're going to go to a compiler so we can actually see the output. We have two options of compiler. Either download one for your computer, slash Android mobile phone, yes you can actually find one there on the Play Store, or just get one online and just work with it online. Now if you want to download it for your phone or for your PC, just click on the link in the description and it will redirect you to the sites slash place on place or where you need to be. If you downloaded the compiler, just extract it and just open the .exe file and it should look like this. Okay, so now let's retype the code and try and get the output that we expected, which was A. As you can see, we got A. That's the output we expected, right? So now we're going to be talking about input. A language just doesn't feel complete without an input, am I right? Now an input is just a comma. Just put wherever you want the input to be. Just offer whichever sentence you want. But for the input, we're going to copy one of my older codes that I made. It was a small program that just asks you what your name is and it asks for the input. So let's just quickly go and copy that. Now if you want to make this yourself, it should only take you about half an hour, depending on how fast you are. So let's just go down, all the way down. And as you can see, at the bottom, there's a comma. Now that means, please give me an input. And I also commented, hello there, uh, and you see, now there it gives you the output, and now I can give it an input. And say Netsu, and there you see, it got the input. And... That's basically it for the input guys. Talk about brainfuck comments. Now comments are basically everything here. Anything in a comment except what you would use while you code. That is like plus, minus, big grass, minus, dot, comma, and the loops, you know? But anything else is basically a comment. It will always count as a comment. You might be thinking, what if I actually wanted to use some of my code in a comment? Well, there is a turnaround in this. Go to the very, 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 very top of your code before you start with anything. To do this, all you gotta do is like put everything in a square bracket and just anything you want to put in there is acceptable. Because you can't start brainfuck with a loop. It's illegal, basically. So they made it like you can just put anything in there as a comment. Meaning plus, minus, put the brackets themselves, dot, comma, big red, small red. Anything is legal in here. And it will be registered as a comment. Now, guys, that's all you need to know about brainfuck. And I hope this tutorial was useful and you learned something. Thank you all for watching. See you all in the next tutorial.